characters and shit. I know you got a side quest for me, buddy. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case. Ah, there we go. Disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. <laughs> Quad! What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Good thinking. Lackeys are always easier to scare. Exactly. Though in this case it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. So he was growing spare parts in his own employees? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden, so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. But we never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if he tried to stop it. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they'd died by now anyway. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Salion, be there when you find him. 
Since we're talking about pizza in the chat, I mean, I saw one mention of CC's and that's it? Come on, now we need more CC's than that! CC's pizza is best pizza! Looking for supplies? Nothing like eating a whole lot of pizza and not feeling satisfied afterwards, hmm? <laughs> and then only eating Let's because you, you want to get your money's you worth. But, on a more serious note, uh... I went to this place, uh, I think it's somewhere in downtown, called uh, Bombay Pizza. Mm, cleanest, most delicious pizza I have ever had. God, if you are in Houston, look that place up. You will uh, not be disappointed. Mm, so fucking good. Chain pizza sucks. Chugs piss and lots of it. Okay... We've got a lot of crap we can sell here. Let's get rid of anything that is, like, level 3. Keep these heat sinks, though. I don't think they start coming back until, like, level 8 or something, which is weird. Would it be worth the drive to go to California from Houston, uh, just for some pizza? <laughs> I don't think so. That's a little, uh, hardcore. Any chance for some Last of Us multiplayer streaming? Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. Keep an eye out in the future. I make no guarantees, though. Polonium round. God damn, we're selling a lot of shit and it's still not enough. <laughs> Shield modulator. Tungsten rounds. Chameleon tool. Cryo explosive. High explosive, incendiary explosive junk. Super dunk stream, perhaps. <laughs> Are all future playthroughs gonna be like this? No. I'm gonna keep some of the entertainment for myself, nah, main man. But will I do more stuff like this? Yes. Just not all the time. Light armor junk. Oh damn, look at all that all those credits we be packing now. Mods, mods, mods. Mods can't solve all my problems. <laughs> I wish they could, but they can't. Shotgun, those firestorms are useless. Katana, I think the Shimitar is the best one, but I'll keep one just in case. Sound like stuff so awesome. Naginata, hey, look at that. 8,000 credits for awesome. Striker, Warlord, Emulate of Coding. Don't need this. Combat Scanner. I'll keep one around. Energized Weave. No thanks. Infinite Bandana for days. Kinetic Buffer. Hold on to that. Stabilizer. Don't need that. Polonium round. God damn, a lot of polonium rounds. Proton rounds. Rail extension 5. Shred around, shred around, shred around to keep all this. Avenger 6. Ooh, Shimitar 6. Tornado. Weapon upgrade. Oh, combat scanner. Nah, I don't feel like scanning back. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. Cypher tool junk. Heavy armor. Junk. This is all shit, junk, and crap. Okay, I think we're done here. That's enough shop time. Yeah, well, considering I'm only doing this like two to three hours a day, I don't think it'd be very hard to uh, catch up to me. Commander, what's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Yeah, ten mission. hours, my bad. I get the hell out of Dodge. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink, a bit of a celebration, if you're interested. Non alcoholic? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we don't want to drink with our right. Of course we don't. 
What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? Oh shit, I shouldn't have asked for the occasion. God damn it. Are you playing games with me? I don't always play games, sir. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. You a tequila man? Yeah, I drink a tequila on special occasion. Patron, go, bro! You're blacklisted because of your grandfather's cowardice. Cowardice. That's what the Terra Firma party calls it. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserves better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. What is my favorite drink? Uh, water with lemon lime Gatorade coming in in a very, very close second. Sometimes you have to fight to the bitter end. You plan to bail if Saren gets the upper hand? No, sir. I'd die to stop him if that's what it takes. Him and anyone else who tries to screw with the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? What the fuck? All these options are Paragon! We knew. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> I think the neutral one is the best one. You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Thanks, Skipper. Skipper? But anyway, I've got You're no Gilligan, and you I've are. F sh shut the fuck up. Get out of here. Ma'am. You disgrace Gilligan's Island with that sacrilege crap. Oh, <laughs> Why do I talk to Ashley? I thought the skipper shit would be like man Shep only, but I guess not. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. Oh snap! I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Theron's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. What are you hoping to find? Usually, people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. We don't call any flavor by their name. We do every drink by color. Give me some of that gray, red, blue, or orange, or white. Or whatever. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up, but it's not all good. People like my father have enemies, and they're not above using me to get to him. Why didn't you tell me this before? I guess I'm just tired of people judging me because of who my father is. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage, 
something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed, and that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. I have never had an energy drink that was not a Jaeger bomb, so <laughs> I can't, I can't really uh, answer that. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. How the fuck do robots evolve? They write new code, bro! That's how they do it! Water with olive oil? What the fuck is that? What the- where's the- where's the fucking control- <laughs> Oh, there it is. Shit, don't be highlighting. Jaeger is pretty delicious, though. Since we're talking about it. <laughs> Alright, let's tell the R the good news. Got myself some of that hot console ass! Face cam? Ban him, get him out of here. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yeah, how do you feel about me sleeping with the consort? And no, I am not an alcoholic. I don't drink very much these days. Used to drink a lot more a couple years ago? I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. <laughs> oh, God. Don't bring up the arm and leg conference. <laughs> Look, man. Oh, oh, he was under the influence. He wasn't thinking right, but you won both arms forever. You can live without a leg. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. No, it, it is isn't. the lifeblood of my species. The way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. <laughs> There's no brush to that? <laughs> Come on now. You know how we humans are. We don't live for very long. Are you telling me you're a virgin? <laughs> virgin does not have the same connotation in my culture as yours. But it is true that I have never done this before. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and 
I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. Turbo nerd! I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. I'm ready. If you are. Eager is not the same as ready, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on uh, stuff. Oh, what? <laughs> I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Her <laughs> blueberry. Let's, let's talk about something else. <laughs> uh, I hope you let me inside. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. <laughs> Uh, I've already popped two blueberries. I mean, let's why why not go for the th go for the go for the triple? Oh, baby, a triple! <laughs> uh, oh, patience, minions, patience. We will get in. We will get inside. Yeah, the consort and the the lady from the Thorian monster. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thor. Oh, right. We already did that. If I ever get a speeding ticket. What's the shit? If I ever get That's two more ticket. times than I wanted I want to talk to, to Kaden. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be up half the night working on them. I won't keep you then. Commander. Yeah, well, well, at least Caden knows when to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good man, he's learning. He's learning! Shut up, Caden. <laughs> Never time to... We have to... No, we... Oh, shit, why am I taking the elevator? We have to talk to Caden so that we have an informed decision for when it comes to uh, Ashley versus Caden, okay? You have to decide which one you hate more. You see, so we have to talk to him. Because there's nothing worse in life than making a misinformed decision. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. Alright, let's see if Joker has anything funny to say. I wish we could feed someone to Rex. Commander, something you need? Oh, what? Yeah. I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this okay, is going. Okay, never mind. Do okay, I guess you there's no, uh... Top of my class in flight school? No, shut up! Put the norm in you. Alright, see ya. I guess, uh, Joker doesn't have very many, uh, conversations in this game. Only when, uh, you do a main story, he'll have a little quip, I guess. Ditch both option. Uh, we just realized that this nuclear device requires two people to uh, defend it, so uh, have the fun. <laughs> have some fun. Oh yeah, we should decide where we want to go. Okay, let's do some Rex family armor here. Somewhere in the Argos Row cluster. Argos Row is somewhere... I don't know where. Attica Beta... Where the fuck is the Argos Row? Armstrong, Kepler Verge... I'm not already in it, am I? Voyager, Hades Gamma... What the f... Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, well, okay, I guess... Hydra or Phoenix? I think it's in Phoenix. Double the asteroid belt here. Any goodies? Come on, show yourself. Nope, this is looking pretty barren. Okay, Tuntau. Oh, hey, look at that. First try. Okay, that's where we need to go. Let's see if we can survey anything here. Survey that. Mm hmm. Samarium. 
because I know what that is. <laughs> junk, junk, junk. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, there was something in the asteroid belt. Bitch, you be sneaky. Okay, survey. Do I get experience for surveying this stuff or what? I don't remember. Nothing pops up on the screen here. Okay, taking Rex. And let's go with the Biotic Boom Squad. Not that there are any Biotic Booms in this game. Everything I find gets me XP and credits. Thank you. Thank you very much. And surveying is worth it. Yeah, with those like double the air drops. Okay, Liara, you have leveled up quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, scientist. Yeah. Advanced throw. Ah, let's get master singularity. Can't go wrong with that. And more sorry, scientist. And she needs to get upgraded here. Oh, Phoenix 5. Why, why does the Phoenix armor have to be so weak? Ugh. Oh, I can't take it, man. It's hard. She needs more shields. It's unfortunate, but that's what it's all about. Making the hard decision. Ooh, kinetic buffer 5. Very good. I need kinetic buffer. Oh wait, I am using kinetic buffer five. Okay, and we've got some new pistols for her to choose from. Hey, have a stiletto. Enjoy it. Let's give her cryo rounds. All right, we're good. Okay, so hidden structure anomaly. We're going north. So be it. I need better Phoenix armor than what the game was giving me, man. 126 shields is not enough. Yes, these people who are mods are ones who applied, except for uh, Star Wars fanboy. I just gave it gave it to him because, uh, well, he seems to know his shit about Mass Effect, and I recognize his name from YouTube, which uh, always helps. So there you go. If you actually bothered to apply, uh, you, you had some good chances. <laughs> but I did get like, what, 20 people who applied and I modded like four of them? Something like that. But uh, Star Wars fanboy is a turbo nerd. <laughs> Let's be real now. You messaged Moobot! Oh, that's falling on deaf ears, brother. Understood. Ooh, a sorry capsule. A sweetenly. Probably another one of Matriarch Dingle Fritz's uh, memoirs or some shit. Matriarchs. Yep, see, there we go. It's possible these writings came by from the nearby ruins. Yay! How many mods do I have on right now, by the way? Ideally, I'd like f four to five each stream I do. I think like, I think I got five right now, plus Moobot. Something, I don't know. I don't feel like alt-tabbing right now. Five. Eh, four, four to five is a good number. Very good number, I am uh, Yeah, if uh, you want to be a mod, <laughs> if you would like to be a mod, having a Twitch name that matches your YouTube name would probably help your case out, especially even more if I actually recognize it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
big fan from Portugal? Yeah, expanding that global influence. Glad to have you here, brother. Who is this Cypher DK? Some guy I modded like two years ago. <laughs> okay, let's take some of that mercury. Mm hmm. Right, very nice, very nice, nice and easy, just the way it's supposed to be. Damn, look at that global presence go, so good. Wait, where the fuck am I going? Oh, right, 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 right. Bunch of inferior landmass, this is what I'm hearing, if we're gonna be completely honest. La 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 la. Uh, excuse me. I'm just kidding. All land masses are pretty shitty when you start to think about it, huh? Does Bruce get paid for Twitch? Why, yes, I do. Why, yes, I do. The more money, the more better, after all. I meet their partner requirements. That I do. Okay, crash pro. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, that was easy. Never mind. <laughs> Crisis averted. Okay. Hidden structure. All right. I think we are good for exploring here. Well, their subscription... Isn't there a Thresher Maw down here? This is looking pretty fucking flat. I think there's a Thresher Maw here. Yeah, look at this. This is like as flat as it gets here. There's got to be a Thresher Maw hiding somewhere here. I will take I'm gonna weaken it in the Mako. Believe me, I know about I know all about the tactics. I haven't fought one yet. I think there's one on this planet though, I'm pretty sure there I mean they said look at this, it fits the criteria, doesn't it? No thresher on this planet, no. That's disappointing. Well, wouldn't be the first time I've been disappointed by an uncharted planet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the mark of a planet if it's made it or not. If it has Thresher Maws, then it's a pretty manly planet. Thresher Maws live everywhere. I'm pretty sure I fought a Thresher Maw on an ice planet before. Alright, we're here! Surprise, bitches! Oh, that was a double. That was a double. That was a good one. Fuck your barricades, bitches! Run over everything! Gravity's a mean mother! Fuck your immunity. The Mako gives no shit. Yeah, get stuck in the door, you goddamn gutter slut. <laughs> uh, nice and painful, just the way I likes it. Okay, let's go ahead and do a hard save. It's been a while since we've done one. Oh yeah, Liara needs one of those Polaris amps. Let's just go ahead and gel that. Polaris. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Good to go. Decryption terminal? Where? Inside or outside? Proms need to go unlock... Oh. You're talking about Novaria. Whoops. Uh -uh. This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. If it's not pink, you're off the team. Just want to make sure you know that, uh, <laughs> Rex. 
Okay, yeah, this looks like another another uh, layout where I'm going to be sitting in here. <laughs> Look at all this I'm shit. Excited. Yeah, no shit, what gave that that impression? Oh god. Go, go, go. Fuck it! Yeah, let's not stand over there. Go, go, go. Actually, let's go over here. So, okay, okay, Turbo Nerd. Uh, riddle me this. Why does Liara not have overload on her skill thing here? What do? What do? Because I could use an overload, a second one, that would be pretty swell. Okay, let's go ahead and lift this one, let's go ahead and warp it. Start fucking things up! Yeah, she's an adept, but she has the skill. Why give her the skill for electron- I mean, is she there just to open doors for me and shit? It doesn't matter that she's an adept, she has the skill. I mean, what do? What do? Hey look, it's Tone Actus. Hey, time for you to get into Singularity. Uh, yeah. God damn, have more health please. Oh shit, he just fucking launched the carnage at me. Oh god damn. That was painful. Wow, you guys were not kidding about the uh, fucking immunity spam. <laughs> These assholes. Get his ass on the ground. This might take a while. I think it's time to go, fall go, back go. because this team's looking not so healthy. Okay, Rex, live! God damn! <laughs> Why do they gotta spam this shit? Kill it with fire! You know what? Since we're fighting synthetics, I'm gonna switch. Or not synthetics, uh, organics. Okay, one down. <laughs> like 20 more to go. Let's put a lift on that. Let's get carnage over there or not. God, they have so much health. Let's get a double lift whammy in there. <laughs> okay, how about another singularity juke? God damn. This is gonna take forever. And I think the singularity. Oh, wait, nope. We can kill Tone Actus! Go, 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 go! Get up before he can immunity! Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Enemy is everywhere. Okay, warp over there. Sabotage. Hold the line! Here, I got something that won't hold the line for you. Eat a throw, asshole. <laughs> Got him, coach. Oh, God, he's getting back up. Oh, and Rex put him back down. What a winner. Enemies are always everywhere. That's why we play this game. Not in my line of sight. Yeah, go, nothing's go, go. ever in your line of sight. Hold the line. Okay, let's put some throw juice in there. Go, go, go. Oh yeah, Liara has... Oh wait, no she doesn't. I thought she had marksman. Whoops, got her confused with Tally. Get a clear shot. Is everywhere. <laughs> I don't have an angle. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, 
Okay, what can we do here? Hold on! I don't have a lock. Up! Liar is down. Wah, wah. Spam more immunity, you cheap sack of shit! Got that last forever, and he shield boosted. Fucking sweet. Time for revenge. <laughs> Time for revenge? Yeah, right. When I see it, I'll believe it. Hey, he launched the carnage into the wall. That's good. Ooh, level up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, god damn it, I missed my thing. Oh shit, that almost killed me. Okay, singularity, warp. Yeah, hit him with the biotics. Oh, god damn. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a long battle. Then again, what isn't? Hmm. Let's do double points and pistols. Liara likes... Let's start working towards advanced throw. And max out Krogan Battlemaster for Rex. Alright, medical kits. Very nice. Very nice. Malfunctioning objects. Reduce everything to Omnigel. Armor upgrade exoskeleton 5. I think that's junk. Edge 5. Vendor trash. Whole lot of it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck! I got stuck! Shit! No! <laughs> Uh, well, that's why we got Omni-Gel. Ooh, oh wait, it's the level 5. I already have that. Boku no Mako? I would watch that. I would watch that and recommend it. And try to st strike a deal with the writer so I could post that on my YouTube channel. Where's Waldo, dude? How do you expect me to know? Why don't you go look, at a, look in one of his books and try to find him? See how much luck you have. Just plaster it on, man. Omni gel. So good. The wonder gel. Alright, Rex. Time to enjoy some new or old school fancy pants armor. Wet wear kits. Polaris 5. Wow, I'm spitting those out like crazy. Tungsten rounds. Four. Junk. Alright. Let's see what we've got here. There we go. Shred around. Ooh, cryo round six, you say. This is it. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap. But at least I've got it back. Uh-huh. Let's move, people. <laughs> Rex touches his grandfather's armor, his expression. Thoughtful, perhaps? Krogan, our hearts are read. Then he shakes off his behusement, bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. Oh, pretty in pink. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Forgot something back there. Take that medical kit. It didn't give me anything. All right. Cool beans. You like teenage boys having sex? What the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> oh, where do these people come from? Mm. Okay. Well, I think that's good for me, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good, what, two and a half hours, I think, something like that. 
So uh, thanks for coming out, gentlemen. Peace.